Question 23. In this circle, a quarter and a sixth are shaded. What fraction of the whole circle is not shaded? Now, basically, this entire question is going to be about common denominators. So we've got, we're dealing with quarters and sixths. So what we need to do is figure out a common denominator. So here we go. We need a common denominator for a quarter and a sixth. So one way of doing this is just to see if you can spot a number that both four and six go into. Well, you might be able to spot that they both go into 12. Four goes into 12 and six goes into 12. And then you can make two equivalent fractions out of 12. So to get from... Quarters to twelfths, you'd have to times that by three. So you're making that one three times bigger. So if you're times the four by three to get twelve, you times the one by three to get three. So you, with the quarter, you times both numbers by three to get three twelfths. With the six, you're times in the six by two to get twelve. So whatever you do to the bottom number, you've also got to do to the top number. So you need to do 1 times 2 to get 2. So 1 6 is 2 twelfths. Now from there, it's quite straightforward. Because if a quarter has been shaded, that's 3 twelfths. And if a 6 has been shaded, that's 2 twelfths. So altogether, that's 5 twelfths. So if you add those together, you've got 5 twelfths shaded so this fraction here must be worth five twelfths but the question actually says what fraction is not shaded so if five twelfths is shaded not shaded must be the rest of it and to get up to 12 you would need seven parts so seven twelfths so your final answer is seven twelfths now, we chose a common denominator of 12 there, but if you couldn't spot that 12 um, has both 4 and 6 going into it, one way of getting a common denominator is to times the two existing denominators together. So let's do an alternative way over here. So 1 quarter and 1 six. So multiplying the two denominators together will always give a common denominator. So you could have that into 20 fourths. Because 4 times 6 is 24. But then obviously that's going to affect what you times by to get your equivalent fractions. So to get from 6 to 24, that's times 4. And to get from 4 to 24, that's times 6. And then you could work out your equivalent fractions. So 6 times 4 is 24. Do the same to the top. So 1 times 4 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24, so 1 times 6 is 6. So we'd have 6 24ths add 4 24ths. And 6 24ths add 4 24ths would be 10 24ths. So we could say that this shaded bit is 10 24ths. But if 10 24ths is shaded, then to get up to 24, that would be 14 24ths, not shaded. And as you can see, all we've got here is equivalent fractions. 5 twelfths is equivalent to 10 twenty-fourths, and 7 twelfths is equivalent to 14 twenty-fourths. So either of these two answers would be correct. You could have 7 twelfths being your final answer, or you could have 14 twenty-fourths being your final answer. Either of those two answers would be uh, acceptable and get you the marks.